Hey, what's going on? Today, we're going to be importing a product CSV file onto Shopify. Now, before you go, according to my data over here, my analytics, 99% of you have not subscribed to her channel. So if you find any of these tutorials helpful, you wanna subscribe because we are putting out tons of tutorials and you will definitely find them helpful. So make sure that you subscribe, do it now. Let's get into it. So the first thing you wanna do is obviously go to your products. And in here you have the option to export, import, or more actions. What we're gonna to do today is import, right? So this is important if you have a big product list, if you're switching platforms, if you're going from like WooCommerce or something like that, and you wanna go into Shopify, you can download your product list already and then import it in here. Now, Shopify has a very particular way of uploading products. So you have to make sure that you match it exactly as how they want you to. So the first thing that I would do is click on this download sample CSV file. This will open up a new tab with a, uh, a lot of information really on the CSV file. And I'm gonna touch on this a little bit too. But right here, this first sentence, you can download and view a sample product CSV file, and you can use that as your template, right? So I'm gonna save that on my computer. <clears throat> I'm gonna open that. And then there you have it. So. This is the templated version of what you wanna do. Uh, these uh, titles uh, here at the top, you wanna make sure that they, you have all of them, even if you're not using them. So for example, if I scroll down here towards the bottom, there might be things like Google Shopping, custom label one, custom label two, that you might not use, but you still wanna keep them there and not delete the, the, the columns because Shopify will not recognize that CSV file, okay? <clears throat> now. In order to um, understand all these headings a little bit better, um, that's where we go back to this page that Shopify opened for you, which if you scroll just a little bit down, you'll see product CSV file format. And this will actually walk you through each of the titles, the handle, title, uh, the body, the vendor, the type, tags, published. Um, and it will actually give you descriptions over here on what exactly you need to put in there. Obviously the template will give you an idea of what you need to put, but this page right here will actually give you a better understanding of what exactly you need to put in those fields. Now, <clears throat> some things to take into consider consideration here um, when you're uploading your product CSV file, um, I would 100% recommend to do it on Google Sheets. Uh, so I have a little product list over here. So this is another example. <clears throat> I would do Google Sheets just because you can collaborate with other people um, and you can share that with either your web developer um, or other people on your team to be working together on this. And what we've done here, um, you can see here at the bottom, you can see different um, categories of products, ladies apparel, contemporary, handbags and small leather. leather. Um, and inside of those, then you have a bunch of different products. So the number one thing that you need to make sure you do before you're planning this CSV file product list is to figure out your categorization of products. So <clears throat> we can do that in a different video, but right off the bat, you need to make sure that you know how you wanna categorize your products on your store. If it's ladies apparel, um, and inside of there you have tops, pants, skirts, uh, you need to make sure that you organize yourself um, and organize your products. And you can use just a Word document to list this out and you can see it visually. Because when you go here to the product type, you wanna make sure that you match it exactly as to where you're gonna have it in the store. And same with tags, you know, you wanna make sure that they actually match exactly um, as you want them in the store because when you're setting up these categories inside of Shopify, uh, you wanna make sure that these match exactly word for word um, what you're going to create those categories for. So even things like uh, using plural, like tops instead of top, um, take those things into consideration. Now, uh, something also to do consider is the handle. The handle is the, identifies the product, right? So if you look at all of this, this is all just one product, right? And you only need to put majority of the information on that first line. And then normally there is additional lines because of variants, right? So this is option one will be variant one, uh, which in this case, it includes the size. And all we're changing is just the option, right? It's small, medium, large, extra large, etc. <clears throat> now, something else to take into consideration is 
the SKU numbers. The SKU numbers are very important that you have some sort of format or template that you're following so that people who are uploading products in the future, they know exactly what to do and how to format those SKU numbers. Some people like to include, for example, right here, we have uh, some information about the vendor. We have some information about the actual color of the product. We have some information about the size of the product. Um, all those things are important for your employees and for people uploading products onto the website. Let's see, keep walking here a little bit more. And another big thing is the images, right? So that's something that this might be a little bit cumbersome, but for image purposes, you have two options here. You can come over here and go to your settings and go to files. And you can upload all your images right here. And then all you would do is you would copy the URL after you upload an image, which you can click I by clicking that purple button. And then you would come back to your product list and you would paste that URL right there within the image source. Now, something that's kind of tricky, if you want to add multiple images to that same product, you have to do an additional line. So remember how we did an additional line based off of variants? You would also have to do an additional line. So I would just click here and then insert one below. And then you again, you want to make sure that it matches the handle. So Shopify knows that this additional image is for that Salina blouse and you can leave everything else the same um, and then put the same SKU number in here and then put your second image, right? So let's say this is my second image that I wanna add in there. I just copy that URL and put it in here and then image position, that will be my second image that shows for that particular product. <clears throat> so this is very important. This is something that it's kind of hard to find as far as like documentation on how to add multiple photos. Um, your other option with adding images is that you don't put anything under image source or image position. And after you've uploaded all your products, then you go in on a product by product basis and start adding and uploading images. There's really no better choice. I mean, they're still, uh, they're both very time consuming, um, but that's just part of uploading, right? Bulk uploading um, all these products. Um, so again, I would highly, highly recommend that you go through uh, this breakdown of what each title and the description means so you have a better understanding. If you have any questions about any of these, uh, please leave a comment down below. I uh, would really appreciate that. Um, so let's go back to this. Do, do, do. And let's just save this, right? So we talked about creating your product CSV list right here within uh, Google Sheets. Uh, what you wanna do after you finished it is go to download. And then inside of download, you'll see the comma separated values, the CSV. That's what you wanna click on. And that will create you the CSV file that you need. Now, if we go back over here and then we go back to products and then click on import and then add the file. Do that, open. And then this check mark over here says override any current products that have the same handle, existing values <clears throat> will be used for any of the missing columns. So if you have already products in there um, and you want them to override some of those products, you wanna make sure you check mark that. If not, just leave it unchecked. You click upload and continue. And then this will give you, this window will give you a little example to make sure that it's matching column by column and they had the right information, right? So right now I just have one product with two images um, and it will not overwrite. So it'll give you a little summary of how the, that, that would look. Um, and then all you have to do is import products. Now, if for any reason you have any errors or there's something wrong with the CSV file, um, it will tell you right here on this uh, pop-up. When I click import files, and there you have it. It's almost instantaneously. Um, obviously we only had one file in there, um, but that's how you do it. That's how you upload or import a product CSV file uh, for Shopify. And if you see on that example, I had two different images uh, that got uploaded um, and then this only had one um, size. So I didn't have any variants or anything like that. Um, again, the import is a super, super valuable uh, resource uh, and it makes things just a little bit easier. So. 
If you have any additional questions regarding importing CSV products, uh, make sure to leave them down below. And if you are wanting to be super hands off with your Shopify uh, build-in experience and uh, going through all this process, then you can definitely go to bitbranding.co and send us a message and we'll be more than happy to help you walk you through the process of building a website um, or we can completely do it for you. It doesn't matter. Again, if you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below. We'll do our best to answer them for you. Or if you have an idea for another episode, tutorial episode, let us know. We'll be more than happy to create those for you. And if you're not subscribed, make sure that you do so by hitting that subscribe button.